Hey there, welcome back to my channel, it's me the Mind Injector. In this video we are diving deep into the world of Mullen Automotive and the recent stock developments that have sent shockwaves through the market. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss any of the insights I'm about to share. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. Before we dive into this video guys, I've got some exciting news for you. I want to introduce you to Mumu Financial. If you open a brokerage account with Mumu and deposit at least $1 using the link in the description, you'll get a chance to draw a free stock worth up to $2000. But that's not all. If you make a net deposit of $100 or more, you'll receive not just one, but 5 free stocks worth up to $2000 each, plus free premium courses to help you sharpen your investing skills. And if you're really serious about investing, you can deposit $1000 or more and get a whooping 15 free stocks, bringing your potential earnings to a staggering $30,000. So sign up for a Mumu brokerage account using the link in the description and start earning those free stocks. Now let's jump into the main content of this video. On August 11th, Mullen Automotive executed a 1 for 9 reverse split. Now if you're wondering what that means, hang tight, I'll break it down for you. This move was all about meeting Nasdaq's requirement for a minimum share price of $1. And guess what? This wasn't their first rodeo this year. They'd already pulled off a 1 for 25 reverse split on May 4th. But here's where things get really interesting. Mullen is on a ticking clock. They've got their eyes set on September 5th, a crucial date. Why, you ask? Well, they need to have their shares close at or above $1 for at least 10 consecutive business days. And here's the twist. Between now and September 5th, there are less than 10 business days. But hold on, there's a small snag. September 4th is Labor Day, and the market is closed. That means Mullen is essentially down to 8 trading days to make their mark. So, what's Mullen doing about this whole situation? They are not sitting idle, that's for sure. On August 16th, they launched a $25 million buyback program. What was the goal? To breathe life back into their stock. The intriguing part is that they've already put around $3.62 million into this program. But here's the twist. Despite their efforts, their shares have taken a nosedive by over 50% since the buyback program started. Now, let's talk about the real challenge Mullen is facing. The steep climb to reach that magical $1 mark. Currently, their shares are floating in the mid $0.40 cents range. To hit that $1 target, they need to soar by more than 100%. And in a market as unpredictable as this, that's no small feat. Sure, Mullen could consider another reverse stock split as a way to prop up their stock price. But here's the catch. They'd need shareholder approval beforehand. And here's a twist you might not have seen coming. According to Nasdaq's policies, if a company pulls off multiple reverse stock splits within a two-year period with a cumulative ratio of 250 shares or more to one, they risk losing eligibility for any compliance period specified by Nasdaq. As you can see, time is of the essence for Mullen. Will they make it across the finish line and meet Nasdaq's requirements? It's a puzzle with many missing pieces. The complex interplay of their reverse splits, the buyback program and the looming compliance deadline have created an air of uncertainty. In the grand scheme of things, Mullen Automotive is in a race against time. The clock is ticking and their actions in the coming days could shape the course of their future on the market. This is it for this video guys, thanks for watching and please make sure to subscribe, like and leave a comment down below.